Afternoon, everyone. Hello. 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 How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Hello. Just a usual reminder for everyone, we'll do two sections. First one for immediate use and the second one for 10.30 this evening. Mark, do you want to start us off? Ralph, good afternoon. Good afternoon. We'll start with the big news in the Premier League this week. Jose Mourinho sacked at Manchester United. You've only been in the country for a couple of weeks, but what did you make to that huge uh, decision from the club? Yeah, I wasn't um, looking so much on, on other clubs. I think uh, we have uh, enough problems uh, that we are facing. And so, um, yeah, I, I recognize it. And uh, it's always uh, a pity if uh, uh, yeah, a colleague from me is, is, is getting sucked. And so it was, for me, not... Uh, the main goal I was facing this week, because um, after the win against Arsenal, we have a very, very difficult uh, game away against Huddersfield, and therefore I need my whole energy, so I didn't have a lot of time to think about that. How much has the win against Arsenal given a real lift around the training ground to the players and the staff? Oh, you could feel that um, everyone enjoyed it a lot, and I think um, it helps us, uh, the managers and, and, and the, the co-trainers to put new stuff in, in, in their mind. I think uh, they're following really well now. It's important for them to see that uh, this kind of uh, uh, game is, is, is fitting us and it can be successful. So um, it was an important first step. It gives us, gives us a little hope uh, for the future. Uh, we can see a small light at the end of the tunnel, and uh, I think the way to go out on this of the situation we are in the moment is a, is a, is a long one. And um, I think the next game against Huddersfield uh, is very important for us because we can send a, a strong signal to ourselves, but also to the league that uh, we are not le leaning back, but uh, we stay on. Uh, working hard and and being focused on on uh, yeah the first away win since I don't know uh, it's a long time I think Crystal Palace was the last so the only one in this season until now yeah we are sure that it will be an enormous hard game that we are facing on 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 Saturday but um, I think if we have the same passion and the same um, character and mentality and uh, we will need it against Huddersfield then we have a big chance to win there. Only two points separate the two sides in the Premier League with them beneath you of course so it, it, it's set up to be an intriguing game. What type of a match are you expecting? Yeah m different to, to the, the game against Arsenal because I think Arsenal is a footballing better team I think uh, but um, this team we are facing now, they have a very, very good mentality, a very good uh, reserve gear. So they are closing very, very, or dropping very, very well. And you don't have a lot of time to, to create chances. And um, what we will need is a very, very compact defense uh, organization, and like we did it against Arsenal. And the same what we showed against Arsenal in a few times, a good transition forward, a good uh, counter-attack and um, yeah, then we we are always able, I think, to score there and uh, that's what we are looking for. Have you ever had any experience of coming up against David Wagner before? He's obviously come over to England, he's managed in the Championship, took Huddersfield to the Premier League, he's been very successful here. I know, I didn't face him before as a manager, so it's the first time we... We meet each other and uh, I heard a lot about him and I, I followed his way. It was, uh, yeah, he relegated with, uh, uh, he, he promoted with with Huddersfield and that's amazing. And uh, yeah, I think it's, it's um, he makes a very good job there. And I think um, it's not uh, so surprising that uh, they could uh, stay in the league last year because I think uh, they made less mistakes. And you said that this could be a, a real statement to the rest of the league and the players here at Southampton. Two back-to-back -back wins and, and, and points that would stretch you away from the bottom three. This is a significant game, isn't it? Absolutely. Uh, it's in, uh, a six-point game. We call it in Germany, I think, in England also. And, um, yeah, I think the win against Arsenal would be really important when we also 
can get a few points in 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 Huddersfield. Um, it can be a huge step for us. No one, I think, uh, yeah, thought that we can take something against Arsenal, but um, against Huddersfield is a completely different uh, um, situation. Yeah, we against Arsenal we were the not the favorite. And now it's about a 50-50 game, I think, in, in, in Huddersfield. And we had such a game against Cardiff and we want to show now that we are one step further in our development. What's the Southampton team news? Have you got any injury concerns over players ahead of the game? Uh, yeah, this week we, um, I think five players came out of the, of the inj- uh, yeah. And um, yeah, now the squad is. I, I trained this week with t- 23 players, so it was a little bit too much uh, to yeah for for what the one or the for one exercise to play 11 against 11. But uh, um, yeah, you see, everyone now wants to jump up in, on the train uh, because it's leaving the station, and uh, um, it can be a coincidence that everyone is fit now again. But uh, I think. Um, they feel that here is uh, yeah, just uh, in the moment uh, we build up something interesting and everyone wants to be part of it. It's exciting to hear that. Um, how much are you enjoying England, Premier League? It's only a couple of weeks in, but do you feel settled? Do you feel like you have taken to it well and you're enjoying your work? I enjoy my work very, very much, I think. And um, um, speaking in English in front of my players, uh, yeah, um, I think it, it's <laughs> it's getting better and better every day. Press conference is not um, off, not really. Uh, I'm very. Um, I want to yeah improve also also in this part of my of my English. But uh, I think in the moment uh, it makes uh, it makes me like uh, happy that I see that I have a team which is very quick learning and. Uh, and uh, I think they appreciate what we tell them and what we show them. It's a lot of about mind work. I, I spoke a lot of times now about how we tr- try to prepare them with video sessions here in this in this office. Um, um, I think that the videos helped us a lot in the first week because um, otherwise I think a performance like we did on last Sunday wouldn't be possible. So they stay open-minded. I feel that they want to learn a lot. And if they do, I'm sure that in half a year we would be a better team than we are in the moment. How much have you learned about your players from when you first came into today? Yeah, I think they have a very good character. I think they they uh, think about a lot of things. We we try to learn them. They speak about them. They discuss about them. Uh, they can they are coming with arguments uh, to me and, and ask me a lot of things. So they want to know. So that shows me that they are very interesting in all the stuff we are teaching. Um, that's important because uh, to stay open-minded is, is, is one of the main goals. Uh, I, I pray all the time. Um, and yeah, then we will see how, how far we can develop this team. I think uh, it was not, uh, it was a little bit surprising that it's going as quick as we did last week, that uh, we, we put so much things on the, on the pitch against Arsenal. And although we made it nearly perfect, we saw that in the Premier League, you also can lose this game against Arsenal. We didn't give a lot of chances away, but you saw that they don't need a lot of chances to score. So that's the difficult in the moment. Eh? So we know how close every game is, how, how yeah, how difficult it is to win in the Premier League. And if you want to do that, you have to give everything. And I think that everyone felt that the team is now trying to do so. And I think they did it really well. Last couple of points from me. Um, there's been a lot of speculation in the media over the course of the last week or so with the January transfer window just around the corner. Mario Lamina has been linked with PSG, Manolo Gabbiadini. Gabbiadini has been linked with a move back to, to Italy. Are you confident these players will stay at Southampton or are you open to a revolving door with players coming in and out in January? Yeah, at first I see that uh, the transfer window in England is similar, uh, important like you know, in Germany. So 
Um, I, I, the only difference is that um, in England uh, the games are continuing over over Christmas and and New Year. So I hope that this part would not be that important like in Germany. Oh, I think uh, with Lamina and Cavietini, um we know what we what we are looking for to 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 prepare these players for the future. And I think uh, no one here felt uncomfortable in the moment. And if he do, if he does, then we find a solution and we find a, a possibility for him. But I think Lamina is a very important player for us. Uh, he's one of our best midfield players. Although he's now not 100% fit, I need him. Uh, Absolutely, and um, for all the other guys, they are maybe part of speculations. Uh, we don't want to speak a lot of about speculations. Uh, I think uh, the players know what they have with uh, Southampton, what uh, they can expect from us, and uh, that's the main part. Have you altered your thinking at all in terms of perhaps what you would like to do in January with, with bringing players in? You've had a couple of weeks to work with this squad. Yeah. I, I think I, I spoke about uh, this part at the beginning where I said I want to to learn every player better and I th want to, to know how, how he acts and what quality he has and uh, when I have a good overview about all the strengths and, and not so good things he can do, I will decide if he can help me for the future or not. This uh, period uh, this um, period is, is now... Um, yeah being prepared and and this I'm just facing them every day in every day in training or in the match and yeah when the January comes then I make the decision with uh, which with, with what players I want to go and want to follow and who maybe will leave us thank you thanks guys we're in that section there and move on to the one in